In this week's episode, is SeaWorld really ending their controversial orca shows? A rare blue whale carcass washes up on an Oregon beach, teaching a pelican to fish and a bacon-loving polar bear. SeaWorld is making headlines again this week with the news that they plan to end their infamous killer whale shows. However, reports seem to be exaggerated and it appears this announcement is just an attempt to fix their tarnished public image. Orcas will no longer be performing tricks, but they will still be housed in the same tanks. In addition, the changes will only apply to the San Diego Park. Speaking of whales and this surprising sight, a blue whale carcass washed up on an Oregon beach, thought to be a first for the state. Normal protocol for a whale wash up is to bury the carcass, but due to the rarity of the species, a team from the local university has been tasked with dismantling the carcass and preserving the skeleton. Head on over to our website for the full story. Staying in Oregon and the controversial decision to remove endangered species protections for the state's 81 gray wolves. It's less than a decade since gray wolves first returned to Oregon and conservation groups are concerned that the move comes too soon. Off to Peru where the government has just established a sprawling new national park. Named Sierra del Divisor National Park, the nature preserve covers some 5,000 square kilometers of pristine rainforest in the Amazon basin and is bigger than Yellowstone and Yosemite combined. Some good news for pangolins with this heartwarming release. Officials at a border post between Laos and Thailand confiscated 81 critically endangered Sunda pangolins. The rescues were handed over to the Laos Wildlife Rescue Center to be rehabilitated and released back into the wild. In an update on Big Bird, a baby pelican rescued by staff at a lodge in Tanzania. A year on and with Big Bird flying like a pro, his rescuers decided that it was time he learned to fish. Check out the video of camp manager Jeffrey Condon teaching the rescued bird to catch his own meals. Onto this hair-raising shark encounter. Filmed in Hans by South Africa, the clip shows a juvenile great white shark charging a cage. Sharks rarely enter cages like this one, and it's thought that illegal baiting methods cause this unusual behavior. Rounding off with this cabin raiding polar bear, a BBC crew came back from a long day of filming to find their digs turned upside down. The culprit? A polar bear who was found sleeping off his feast nearby. Apparently, even the bolted door was no match for this bacon-loving bear. That's it for this week, but stay up to date with all of our wildlife videos by subscribing to our channel. And if there's a story you'd like to see featured in next week's roundup, be sure to let us know in the comments below.